David. This is a story of a man with a very strange <laughs> fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings.
I didn't see you again this time either. Little Peggy. My name is David Young, former knock with the Boston PD, and now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila, my dislikes are mainly drugs and chewing gum. Two years ago, someone killed my wife. Since then, I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain, very special power. No results this time either. This case is in the clear. I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. At the time, with no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. And when I do... Oh, Peggy. Amanda? Oh! 
This is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. Yo, David, everything ship shake? I was about to go to sleep. Sleep? You look ready for a coffin. <laughs> Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police Department, and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for Dean. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. Ah. <clears throat> Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get. Trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women, men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me. Actually means get right over here. But then, leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. You know you love it. You got the stomach for it. Uh, my stomach is stressed out quite enough. Thanks. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. Man, Diana is so stupid. Once feared as the mighty no grizzly, detective me. among Kathy's detectives. Now he's more like right? a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. 
When I say banished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up? Apparently starts with the letter D. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? No, it's impossible. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mystery. Right on the money, David. The third party most likely used the confusion to spirit the courier away. Lots of people want the evidence he was carrying, after all. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Well? No doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. Teddy. Thanks for all the help. Ha, huh, no problem, David. We're partners. You may have quit the force, but that fact won't change. Hell, if you trace it all the way back, if I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place... Teddy! I don't know. Don't give me that look, Amanda. I'm just trying to give him a reason to live. Little Peggy, time has been frozen for me since that day. <laughs> Will I see you this time? <laughs> Show.